Welcome to the Geico Girls Basketball Invitational. This is the final coming at you from Washington, D.C. We are on the campus of Sidwell Friends School inside the Pearson Athletic Center. This player is 6'2", Kendall Dudley, so it'll be important for them to go into Del Rosario. Knocking it down, Leah Harmon, just like you brought it, drew it up. Baseline. They were looking for the shot. Marie Robinson. Now uh, turned over. That's a sixth turnover for Webb. Talk about Jordan Jackson coming in and making an impact. Just couldn't finish by Jaden Donovan, but Jordan Jackson cleaning it up. And Shoemaker calling a timeout. Up. Harmon passing straight inside. Dudley finish. Yeah, numbers to back it up. She had six steals yesterday. Beautiful three from Kaya Miller. A 9-1 run for Sidwell comes to an end as Dasha Purick. Long ball, nothing but net for Bree Robinson. Velez going around, kicking out, plenty of time. Walking in, you're in. And you're right, it did get attributed to Bree Robinson. So both. Robinson and Donovan with two fouls. On the floor, Sidwell has numbers. Miller for three as Vera tries to get out there. There were two. That play the whole way. Velez kind of giving Dasha some constructive criticism. Just pass it to me, make the easy pass. This team is too good defensively to throw it all the way across the court. Swish goes Bree Robinson. Velez, shot clock is at eight. Inside, worth the wait. Dudley and Donovan with two fouls. Shot is so good. Briari and Cannon, and Webb takes the lead. Miller, Ava Yoon, yeah, she will. About it. Ava Yoon is cold blooded as Sidwell regains the lead with that three from Ava Yoon. Well, we just can't be, uh, we can't be uh, shocked on this stage. We got to be a lot, a lot more uh, ready to shoot the ball. We've got good shooters. We got to be ready to do that. Um, you know, we just got to weather their runs. Their physicality is obviously in incredible. That's why they're one of the best teams in the country. Uh, we got to match that and then we got to go out and execute. Thank you, Matt, for your Thank time. You. Webb and Sidwell friends trading blows and trading the lead. Who's it going to come down to? Second half, final half of the Geico Girls of Basketball Invitational Championship. For pressing you, you just need that extra ball handler out on the floor and extra three-point shooter. Stopping, popping. She's been money runs that disrupted. Okay, ball handling. All right then, Jordan Jackson. Personal highlight reel. Stop and pop from Harmon. Miller, second chance and one. Love the celebration by Miller. That was a big time rebound and a big time finish. When they are on fire, they are on fire. You see the shot, not a bad shot by Harmon, but Kaya Miller just getting in there amongst the trees, skying for that rebound and able to finish, has an opportunity for a three point play. I think Almon Sanchez gives you a little bit more versatility. Freshman Jordan Jackson. Burek going to work. That's a 
That's the beauty of basketball. Cross court pass, knocked straight down by Briaria Cannon. Oh, out. We've got Collins and Cannon in. This is the lineup where we saw them have a good amount of success early in the game. Uh oh, gambled and lost. And Hartman will make you pay. Oh, this looks like could have picked up, picked off that pass, but she didn't want to gamble. Probably a smart choice right now. It is eight seconds remaining on the shot clock. Velez puts it over for three, two. No foul. Put back by Tatiana Stovall. Nice job by Tatiana Stovall. Not giving up on the play. Hershman, it's going to be another chance for Harmon. Harmon doesn't miss. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. And for Webb, finishing around the cup is critical now. We've seen them shoot it. So Webb, a couple of substitutions. Well, let's see if they pound it inside and take advantage of that size mismatch. Here at catch and shoot. She's got to settle down and knock those down. Handled by Rima Collins. Down by just three. Del Rosario, 22 seconds. Velez, bucket lane. Well, they've got like all the right people out yeah. there. They also have to get it all the way down the floor, too. Looks like Cannon might be open in the corner. Here it is. So good. So good. Last shot. Forced into overtime, exactly, with Bree Robinson knocking down that tough three. But Sidwell, again, they don't stop. So getting the ball out quickly, kicking it up, and Jaden Donovan knocking down that free, that layup with like a tenth of a second on the clock. That just was an amazing finish. Track shoes by Jaden Donovan. Let's take a look at that final sequence again. And look, it's Harmon getting out of that trap, finding Jaden Donovan, finishing it with no time on the clock. And it comes down to one second at the end. Congratulations to the Quakers of Sidwell, friends. For my partner, Maylana Martin Douglas, I'm Anne Marie Anderson. So long.